I'm going to show you how to get this nice purple, dark, and kind of mystical wallpaper. Wow, that sounds like a really bad advertisement. Anyways, to start off, you need to click on the Windows button and you need to type in Restore. You need to create a restore point, so press Enter. Then you'll see this little thing that pops up here. Click Configure, turn on System Protection, press Apply, press OK, click on Create, and type in pre-theme. You can name it whatever you want, just make it legible and easy to understand later on when you get frazzled, because this is kind of our worst case scenario, backup. So once it's done, press OK, and you need to go into the description and you will see a whole bunch of links. The first link you'll see is our theme tool and you need to open it up and click on themetool.exe and download it. Then the next link, we have 7TSP GUI, which is our icon theming tool. It's on DeviantArt, so you will need to log in. Then just click the download button down here. Next up, we have Old New Explorer. You just need to scroll down and click on the download link here. It is a .rar file, so you will need to download either WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip. And I have 7-Zip linked in the description. And all you need to do is click on the EXE, the second download button for the EXE. The next piece of software we have is Start as Back. Now it is paid, but there are methods of making it not paid anymore. I'm not gonna tell you how, but you can do it yourself. But there is a 30 day free trial if you wanna give it a try. Next up, we need to download something called Lively Wallpaper. All you need to do is click the download button, then click installer and it will download the installer. Now, while everything's downloading, we actually need to download a little bit more. I'm gonna get all the downloads out of the way first. So in the next section of the description, you will see a whole bunch of themes. You will see this wallpaper. You want to right click it, click save image as, and save it. Then you will see NUA 10 for Windows. It's a DeviantArt link. And all we need to do is click on the download button and download it. And then the final link in the description for downloading stuff will be Windows 10 Insider Preview Icon Build. All you need to do is make sure you're logged in again on DeviantArt, then click the download button right there. So to start off, we actually need to install all the tools we're going to use. So first click the start is back setup and click install for everyone. You can install it for yourself if you want. That's completely fine. It really doesn't matter and press install. Once you install, you'll notice that you have a configuration menu. Just click close for now and your taskbar should be a little bit different. That's completely fine. We will theme it later. Next up, we need to actually get our old new Explorer. So it is a .rar file. And if you don't have any way to extract that, you need to install 7-zip by double clicking on it, pressing yes and pressing install, and it will be done that quickly. Using that, all you need to do is click on old new Explorer.rar, right click it, 7-zip, and just extract files and press OK. It will extract a folder. You need to open up that folder and there will be a old new Explorer CFG application. Just double click on it and it'll open up with this window. You want to click this checkbox, uncheck these two checkboxes and uncheck the bottom checkbox and click install. Press yes. Then at the bottom, you need to click on this icon and press yes again. Once that's done, your file explorer will change on your next restart of your file explorer. But we are going to go back to our downloads folder and we are going to configure our theme tool. So right click on your theme tool, click run as administrator, press yes, press yes, and it will pop up with this window. You need to click install on the right and press no. If you press yes, your computer will restart but you want to press no because I only want you guys to restart your computer once, not twice. That's efficiency. Next up, you need to double click on the 7TSP underscore GUI and you need to drag this EE file into your downloads. Once it's in your downloads, you can go back to your downloads and find the EE file. You need to right click it, rename and change it to .exe. Then press yes and it will turn into an application. Once it turns into an application, you can double click on it and open it up, press yes. It will give you this readme, just say okay or yes. And you need to select a pack. Before we change our icons, we need to go to our downloads. We need to double click on Windows 10 Insider, drag this folder into the downloads, go into your downloads and wait for it to copy over. And once it copies over, we can delete the zip file that we just opened, open the Windows 10 Insider preview, Go into the 7TSP themes for Windows 10 folder, double click on it, and look for the color that you want. I want slate, so I'm going to click on it, then right click and click rename, and remove the dot remove at the end of the name. Once you do that, press enter and press yes, and it will turn into a 7Z file. That's exactly what we want. 
Now go back and go to enable or disable folder thumbnails, open it up, and you need to disable folder thumbnails by double clicking on the registry file and pressing run, then press yes, then press yes, then press OK. What this does is makes it so that if you have files in a folder, it will not revert back to the old Windows look. It's something that you need with this particular theme. Now, once you do all that, you just need to open up the 7TSP tool again and click add a custom pack, go to downloads, go to Windows 10 Insider Preview, 7TSP, and click on the 7Z file that you renamed. And once it's imported into the tool, just click start patching and press yes. And once it's done, press yes to restart your computer. And once your computer restarts, you might not notice much, and that's because we actually need to apply the theme correctly and make sure all the icons are applied. So open up File Explorer, and you'll notice that you do have the new Slate folders, which look absolutely impeccable. Go back to your downloads, and we want to open up the NUA 10 for Windows, double-click on it, and drag the folder into your downloads. Then go back to your downloads, and once it fully copies over, just delete the zip file, and open up the NUA for Windows 10 folder. When you open it up, you want to go to Windows 10 themes, you want to copy all these themes, then go to this PC, C drive, Windows, Resources, Themes, and paste it in. Then do this for all current items and press continue. Now once that's done, we need to go back into our downloads, right click on the theme tool and click run as administrator and press yes. Then press yes again, and we need to select our theme. We have NUA, no address bar, and NUA. NUA, no address bar removes this address bar up here that tells you where you are, this PC downloads. If you want that to be removed, click no address bar. If you want to leave it the way it is, just click on NUA, then click patch and apply. And once it's done, you'll notice that your file explorer now matches the look at the beginning of the video. But there are a couple things we need to do first. First off, the background got changed. Second, we need to actually use our lively wallpaper. And third, our taskbar looks really bad. Let's start off with the lively setup. Open up Lively Setup, click Install for Me Only or Install for All Users, it's up to you. Then click OK, then press Next, accept the agreement, press Next, press Next again, and press Next again, and press Install. A lot of Nexts you have to press. And once it's done, you need to go to the bottom left, click on the little shield, and click Yes. And once it's done, click Finish, and you will notice in your taskbar there is a new icon, and Lively Setup will pop up. Press Next. And you can enable Lively Wallpaper on Startup with Windows, just keep that on. But if you want to turn it on manually, you can turn that off if you want. Press Next, then set the user interface as Normal. Press Next, and it tells you exactly where to find Lively Wallpaper. Go to the bottom right, right click on Lively Wallpaper, and click Open Lively. It'll pop up with this thing here, and we are particularly going to focus on Rain V2. So click on Rain V2. When you apply the Rain Wallpaper, you'll notice that well, you now have a wallpaper, but that's not the one we downloaded. If you want to keep this one, I think it looks pretty nice, then leave it. But if you want to customize it, all you need to do is right-click on Rain V2, click Open File Location, click on Wallpapers, and you need to right-click on Downloads and click Open in New Window. Then once it opens, just separate them so it's easier to tell what's going on, and drag your dark mountain picture into your wallpapers folder. You can pick whatever picture you want, you just need to make sure it is in this particular folder. Once it's done, you can close it, right-click on Rain, click Customize, and change your image to Dark Mountain 14. And if you scroll up, you will notice that you can change the intensity of the rain to be extremely intense, or you can back it off a little bit to be very minimal, and you can also change the speed if it's a massive rainstorm, or just a nice little drizzle. So next up, you want to right-click your desktop and click Personalize. And if you go full screen, you might notice that my background changes to the pinky purple that came with the theme. We want to change it to the same wallpaper that we have for our rain background. So to do that, click on Background, change it to Picture, then click Browse. Then you want to navigate to your Downloads and click on the Dark Mountain background photo. Now you might have moved it when you moved it to Lively Wallpaper. If that's the case, just re-download it and use it. Now, despite changing the picture, you might notice that if you minimize and maximize your background, there is a little bit of color shift. And to disable that to make it as uniform as possible, you need to go back to your Lively Wallpaper. So the bottom right, right-click Lively Wallpaper and click Open Lively. Right-click on Rain V2, 
click Customize, scroll down to the bottom, and turn off Post Processing. Once you do that, the colors will match for both your wallpaper and your lively wallpaper, which is what you want. Now, once that's done, let's work on the final part, the taskbar. All you need to do is right-click on the taskbar start button and click properties. It'll open up start as back configuration, click on appearance, then you need to select the NUA looking start menu. Once you do that, click apply, and you'll notice that your taskbar is starting to look a little bit better. But we have a couple of issues. First issue is the taskbar icon size. I would change it to small just because it makes your taskbar smaller and a lot cleaner. Now, once you've done that, click customize taskbar perks and click centered task icons and press OK and press apply. Now we have one more thing we need to do. We need to right click the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and we need to scroll down and click turn system icons on or off. Click on that. We need to disable the action center to remove it from the right. And we can hide these icons in the little drop down menu here. And if you don't want the time here, just turn off the clock. And now your taskbar is extremely clean. Right click your taskbar and make sure it is not locked. So click it so that there's no checkbox beside it. Once you do that, you can drag your taskbar to any of the orientations. And the last thing you want to do to finish your final touch is to remove this weird bottom menu. And to do that, press Alt Shift P and it will disappear. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. To start off, you need to click on the start menu and type in add or remove programs. And now you might have to look for it, but it's add or remove programs and click on it. It'll pop up with this window. You want to sort by install date and you want to uninstall lively wallpaper. Close it and by pressing yes, then press yes again. And delete the data folder by pressing yes. Then click start is back plus plus, uninstall that, press yes, and press yes again. And once you do that, you will get your normal taskbar back. And now we have to revert our icons back to normal and we have to revert our Windows theme back to normal. So to do that, right click on your desktop and click personalize. Then go to themes and you want to select a theme that is not one of the custom ones. So I usually suggest clicking Windows. It will update to the Windows theme and burn your eyes out and that will allow you to change it back to dark mode and personalize it to however it was beforehand. Now, once you do that, you need to go to your downloads folder. Then you need to open up the theme tool as administrator. So right click, run as administrator, press yes, press yes again, and you need to click uninstall. And while that's uninstalling, we want to open up 7TSP, press yes. It will open up and you want to click restore in the top option and press OK. Then press yes. And what will happen is that it will restore all of your icons back to how they were beforehand. And once it's done, this may take quite a bit of time, but once it is done, press yes on reboot. And once you restart, there are a couple things that you want to look over. First off, the taskbar settings that you changed before are pretty easy to change by going back to taskbar settings, then changing turn system icons on or off, then enabling the clock, enabling the action center, and the rest are kind of normal. But the main thing we 100% want to look for is we need to open up File Explorer and it needs to look normal. If it does not look normal, we have to use our secret weapon, which is a restore point. We created it just in case anything went wrong. This is where it's extremely important to have one. If anything goes wrong at all when you're trying to uninstall, it's getting a little too messy. All you need to do is click the start button, type restore, and press enter. Then we need to click system restore, then next, then pre-theme, press next, then press finish, then press yes, and it will restart your computer and fix it to exactly how it was before you started theming. That is why we have that. That is our worst case scenario parachute, and it is essential to have it. If you completely ignored the step, that is your fault, because I put it as the first step for a reason. Nevertheless, if this was nice and beautiful, I hope it was, because I'm planning on making an advanced version of this because no one wants to have a 50 minute video on how to make a theme. 
but two 25 minute videos. Now that's thinking with your brain. I'm kidding. I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible. I love you, Timmy. Wait, I said I already loved Timmy before. I don't even like him.